What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from the quartering, and zoiks! You might want to lead with a huge smash of that like button on this story, because uh, it's a huge summer. Uh, uh, it's a huge summer uh, 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 for uh, meritocracy, for, well, quite honestly, it's, it's, uh, it's being referred to as white boy summer. Now, I don't know why people are saying that, but uh, maybe it's because white males were overwhelmingly discriminated against this policy, but that's right. The Supreme court has now said colleges can no longer, you would have thought that, uh, this would have been something that was a law already, but, uh, you know how colleges are always, you know, prioritizing like Harvard, Harvard was even deprioritizing Asians, uh, white folks and, uh, giving, um, admittance based on race. Uh, well, that is no longer allowed. That is illegal. And uh, this is going to absolutely crush woke schools like Harvard and UNC who have programs that allow underqualified students in just because of their skin color. I don't want to put that. Uh, I don't want that to sound as as rough as it does, but it's the truth. There are better students that happen to be white or Asian and male that were getting declined admittance to Ivy League schools. And now uh, that is illegal. Supreme Court allows race as a factor in college administrations. Outlaws, sorry, not allows. Outlaws race as a factor in major affirmative action ruling. Justices vote 6-3 to three to rule Harvard and UNC programs unconstitutional. Now, most of us would have known it was unconstitutional from the start. But, you know, you're not allowed to complain about that sort of thing, lest ye be called a racist. The Supreme Court has banned colleges from using race as a factor when admitting students in a landmark ruling on affirmative action Thursday. The justices decided in a 6-3 to three opinion that Harvard University and the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, UNC's race-based affirmative action admissions policies are unconstitutional. Ooh. Oh, it feels so good. I mean, look, I don't, I don't think people need a uh, Ivy league education to succeed in life. Um, there are lots of people. In fact, I think learning a trade is just as, as valuable, but the idea that, I mean, this, these programs are racist. Okay. Like people say, historically, no, it's racist. Two students, similar options, choosing between them simply based on their skin color is racist. If they were choosing white people over black people, that would be racist, right? Two equally qualified candidates, they choose the white person, that's racist. They choose the black person, that's woke in progress. The ruling ends the decades-old affirmative action policy that was designed to boost the number of black and Hispanic students in colleges. This is also why women are so widely overrepresented in colleges these days too. Stupid, unconstitutional programs like this. Now, I'm, I, I think women, if they want to go to college, they should go to college, but they shouldn't be given priority, okay? Because Harvard and UNC's admission programs lack sufficiently focused and measurable objective warranting the use of race, unavoidability, employ race in a negative manner, involve racial stereotyping, and lack of meaningful endpoints, those admission programs cannot be reconciled with the guarantees of equal protection clause, states the majority opinion, written by Chief Justice John Roberts. Roberts added that for too long, colleges within the United States have concluded wrongly that the touchstone of the individual identity is not challenges bested skills built or lessons learned but the color of their skin our constitutional history does not tolerate that choice Ooh, so good roberts was joined in the majority opinion by the republican appointed justices amy coney barrett samuel alito clarence thomas Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. You know, it's, it's weird to me that that conservatives are always the ones fighting for racial equality, but I keep getting told that they're the racist ones. By the way, the universities were sued. We know this. Specifically, Harvard was accused of violating Title VI of the Civil Rights Act, Act, a landmark piece of legislation proposed by John F. Kennedy 
that sought to outlaw racial discrimination. Title VI prohibits discrimination on the basis of race, color, or nation, national origin in any program or activity that receives federal funds. By the way, this should be a law probably in all areas. I, I guess that's a different conversation. But you know what's funny is, is the inconvenient truth about this is that this was used to bar white people uh, from, you know, to, to resettle the scales according to, by the way, these policies were all thought of by white people, just so, just so everyone's clear who I blame for these ridiculous policies. It's woke white people that, that put these policies in place. That's without doubt. The case argued that Asian American students specifically had been illegally disadvantaged by affirmation, affirmative action, sorry, policies, uh, because despite achieving high grades, they score lower on Harvard's vague personal rating scale, particularly on, quote, likability ratings and positive personality compared to other applicants. The UNC case also looked at what university could factor into admission practices without the use of race and how it would impact diversity on campus. Both Harvard and UNC have maintained that their use of race in admissions does not discriminate against Asians. Well, the only reason they're changing those laws is because shout out to the Asians who push back against this, by the way. You know, when I'm working with people, I want the best people. I don't really care what their skin color is. Uh, if, I'm, if I'm on a job uh, and everybody on that job is a different skin color, but they're all the best qualified for that job, I'm happy. If they're all the same skin color, but they're all the same, the best people for the job, I'm happy. Why is this controversial? Why is this, like, why doesn't everybody feel this way? I assume everyone does. If you're, especially when you're working on a team, it's like, you don't want to pick up the slack from, for some diversity hire, okay? That's just the truth of it. Now, you want to talk about 50 years ago when companies weren't hiring black people because they were black, we'll agree that that's discrimination. They should be hiring the best person for the job. If the best person for the job is a black person or an Asian person, then that's who should get the job. Quote, um, sorry, Justice Thomas, who is the second black justice appointed in history, called race-based administrations rudderless and designed to ensure a particular racial mix in their entering classes, of course. He went on to, uh, on his concurring opinion, which he read from the bench in a rare move, to state plainly that despite being painfully aware of discrimination against other individuals of his race, he had hope that Americans will be treated equally under the law. While I'm painfully aware of social and economic ravages that have been befallen my race, he, Clarence is black, in case you didn't know that, and all who suffer discrimination, I hold out enduring hope that this country will live up to its principles so clearly enunciated in the Declaration of Independence and the Constitution of the United States, that all men are created equal, are equal citizens, and must be treated equally under the law. However, Justice Sorry, Democrat appointed Justice Sotomayor wrote in a written dissent that the decision rolls back decades of precedent and momentous progress. Is it really progress if you're discriminating? And, and by the way, Twitter is erupting. They're erupting. In a separate dissent, uh, Kenyatta, whatever, Brown Jackson said that uh, this is a tragedy. A tragedy? This woman thinks it's a tragedy that the best person for the job got the job. That's, I mean, that's like, that's what it is. The best person for the job got the job. And, and she's angry about that. If you, look, if you look at Twitter, it's absolutely hilarious. Affirmative action is trending. And of course, everybody's losing their minds. Uh, affirmative action you know, there's people obviously dunking on people. The Supreme Court has ruled against affirmative action. Why? Because it's systemically racist. Harvard applicants in the top academic decile have different chances of admitting admission depending on their race. Asians, 12.7%. Whites, 15.3%. Hispanics, 31.3%. Blacks, 56.1%. I mean, these are the numbers, right? I, I the, the best person should get the best opportunities that's how it should work you shouldn't be held back and by the way this is so wild like if i were up here up here t saying look if 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 the black person if somebody's black and they're the best person for the job they should get the job i would be hailed as woke and progressive and stuff but if i say white person then you're called like a uh, nazi or something like that right 
it's just the best person for the job should get the job. The best person for the college a, a position in a, in a given a limited number of spots should be the best person to get that spot. It's really not that difficult. It should, by the way, if you made it to the end of the video, shout out. Remember, my show starts on Monday. Um, you'll still get these uploads here at 11, 1, 3, and 5 on YouTube. Uh, but I will have a daily live show over on my Rumble page. Uh, if you haven't yet, please go on over to rumble.com slash C slash the recording will be linked in the description. Uh, give me a follow there. I'm looking forward to Monday's show. Uh, I've got a lot of fun stuff planned. I'm working on some fun guests. I'm working on getting Roseanne, Tim Dillon, a variety of other people. So um, we're going to have uh, a, a fun time over there. And I hope you'll support me there. If you're watching already on Rumble, it's Shoot Odyssey. I appreciate you as well. Wherever you're watching, please do subscribe though. And we'll talk to you again real soon.